Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on decimals. So in this video we'll be covering a couple more example questions, starting off with a multiplying decimals question. So evaluate 5.7 times 6.32. So let's write this out up here. 5.7 times 6.32. So uh, we'll ch change these into whole numbers first of all so we're not dealing with decimals. So we'll multiply the 5.7 by 10 to give us 57 and we'll multiply the 6.32 by 100 to give us 632. So our calculation is 57 times 632. Now we can use any method of long multiplication we want uh, to work this out. I'm going to use the grid method because it's my preferred method. Uh, but you can use whichever one suits you better. So uh, we've got 632 times 57. So our grid looks like this. Uh, so first of all then, 50 times 600. 5 times 6 is 30. And then we add the zeros in. There's three zeros. So we get 30,000. Then we'll do 600 times 7. 6 times 7 is 42. So we get 4,200 if we add the zeros back in. 5 times 3, 15. Add the zeros. Gives us 1,500. 7 times 3, 21. Add the zero. 210. 2 times 50, we all know is 100. And 2 times 7 is 14. So let's do a column addition now. So we've got 30,000 plus 4,200, plus 1,500, plus 210, plus 100, plus 14. So uh, let's sum the column on the right. That just gives us four. Uh, then the one uh, next to it gives us two. Then we've got two, add five, add two, add one, which is 10. So we'll carry the one. Then we get four plus one plus one, which is six and three. Uh, on its own. So we get 36,024, uh, but at the start we multiply by 10 and then by 100, uh, so that's 10 times 100 in total, which is 1,000. So we have to divide by 1,000 here. So we've got 36,024. So if we divide by 1,000, that gives us 36.024 as our final answer. Finally then, uh, we'll look at this dividing decimals calculation. So we've got 7.488 divided by 1.2. So let's change this 1.2 into a 12 by multiplying by 10. So uh, we've got 12 into 7.488. So first of all, how many times does 12 go into 7? Uh, well, it doesn't, so we put 0 in, and then we carry the 7. So how many times does 12 go into 74? Uh, well, the answer is 6. 6 times 12. 72 so that gives us a 6 here and a remainder of 2. How many times does 12 go into 28? The answer is 2. 2 times 12 is 24. That gives us a remainder of 4. Then finally how many times does 12 go into 48? The answer is 4. So uh, 4 times 12 is 48. So we've got 0 0.624 here uh, but we move the decimal space uh, at first so we move it back. Uh, so we've got 0 0.624 here We'll multiply by 10 this time because we're dividing. We don't divide by 10, we multiply by 10. Uh, so that gives us 6.24 as our final answer. If you're feeling ready to test yourself on this topic, then you can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform. And if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at. And there's a variety of different question types as well. So you get multiple choice. Some will require you to type an answer straight in. So all is good preparation for your exam. Uh, now, you get instant feedback on everything, so it's a really good way of keeping track of your progress and finding out where you need to improve. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and it'll take you over to the site.